We're gonna build a fraction wall Build it nice and tall If you wanna take action to compare fractions Build a fraction wall Let's compare one half to the other fractions on the fraction wall and see if we can find combinations that are equivalent or equal to one half. Let's start by comparing thirds to one half. One third is less than one half. And two thirds are greater than one half. So we can't use thirds to make an equivalent fraction to one half. Let's try quarters. One quarter is less than one half. But two quarters are equal to one half. So two quarters and one half are equivalent fractions. One fifth is less than one half. Two fifths are less than one half. And three fifths are greater than one half. So we can't use fifths to make an equivalent fraction to one half. One sixth and two sixths are less than one half. But three sixths are equal to one half. So three sixths and one half are equivalent fractions. One seventh Two sevenths and three sevenths are less than one half. And four sevenths are greater than one half. So we can't use sevenths to make an equivalent fraction to one half. One eighth, two eighths. And three-eighths are less than one-half. But four-eighths are equal to one-half. So four-eighths and one-half are equivalent fractions. One-ninth. Two-ninths. Three-ninths. And four-ninths are less than one-half. And five-ninths is greater than one-half. So we can't use ninths to make an equivalent fraction to one-half. One-tenth. Two-tenths. Three-tenths. And four-tenths are less than one half. But five tenths are equal to one half. So five tenths and one half are equivalent fractions. Let's summarize what we've found. One half, two quarters, three sixths, four eighths and five tenths are equivalent fractions. One way to check for equivalent fractions is to see which fractions line up with one half when you draw a vertical line from the end of one half down the fraction wall. The ends of two quarters, three sixths, four eighths and five tenths all line up nicely with one half.